A survey released May 2019 by the Hope Center for College Community and Justice at Temple University indicated that 45% of student respondents from over 100 institutions said they had been food insecure in the past 30 days. Food insecurity is characterized by many indicators, not knowing where your next meal is coming from, being worried that your food will run out before you can afford to buy more, eating less or skipping meals to save money or to make food last longer, or even not eating for days on end. The Hope Center is a leading institute in researching the effects of financial hardship and food and housing insecurity on college campuses. It is one of the only institutes actively gathering large-scale data to examine food insecurity among college students. However, much of the Hope Center's data is based around community and public colleges, so issues of food security don't always present in similar ways at private institutions like Muhlenberg, in part due to mandatory campus housing and meal plans. This fall, Muhlenberg College established three new programs on campus to combat financial hardship. A leftovers text chain, a meal swipe donation system, and the Muhlenberg Useful Living Essentials, or MULE, community cabinet, a student resource that provides free, non-perishable food and hygiene items. These programs are in addition to experiential learning and emergency grants to give money directly to the students who need them most. However, the rates at which people actually utilize these services will be central to their success. Muhlenberg must be doing something right, because as of February, there had been more than 200 unique visitors to the Mule Cabinet. Since the college closed in March, over $45,000 in aid from the Emergency Grant Fund went to 134 students to help with everything from food and medical assistance to tech needs. The student I spoke to used a grant to buy more groceries for her family after their food stamps ran out early due to the extra stress of her being home and her younger cousins not receiving school lunch every day. One Muhlenberg student described her experience with shame thusly. So I mean, before this whole thing happened, the pandemic, my mom and I would go to the grocery store. She was too ashamed to use the food stamps. And so my mom, whenever we checked out, she would always go away and then suddenly come back out when we were leaving the store. About her choice to go home, the student elaborated. I'm very happy that I decided to go home. I chose to go home because I was like, if something happens, I need to be with my mom and my home. Going home, that's one more mouth to feed on the already stressed food stamps that we get. And then there's one more person at home, especially during a pandemic. But in the suite, I would have been alone and that would have been sad. I'd rather be extremely crowded, I think, at home with love and stuff, despite the insecurity and despite all the other things that it brings.